Tuesday night. It's time to party with the boys. This is the show where we watch VHS tapes. We've collected over 13,000 of them. We're trying to watch every single one. I'm Joe. There's Nick. There's George. There's Steve. The gang's all here. Whew! How's that for an intro, huh? Pretty good. Efficient. Concise. A lot of, enth- a lot of enthusiasm. I like exactly. it. It was succinct to the point. And uh, we're shot out of a can of because we have a lot to cover. And... Uh, we usually get started by talking about some new things we've discovered, and uh, we finally opened all these boxes that you, the viewers, have sent us. So many good things from Bob Hedges, from uh, David Forna, from, I mean, so many people. Uh, th- this is- and normally we do an unboxing, but right. we do, our equipment is like, it just doesn't work. We did one before, and the, the tech 
was sucky. So we're just like, let's just open them up because we're, we're sitting on a gold mine here. Is and so we opened them up. At- live streaming from one location and lives in new york that could come help us <laughs> yes we, we want to figure out how to get back into the studio but we're technically limited with vhs with modern equipment but uh just some of the finds i'm not going to go through everything but liquid light uh the spiritual wisdom of the ocean this is from rochelle in toronto oh that that's a nice one cute um this is from david this is a uh, pat uh, patches and pockets mm. in my wheelhouse now mm-hmm. bob had just sent a ton of magic videos and my thing is, if you're a magician, lean into your tricks, your artistry. I don't know that we need to see your face on the cover of these. Magicians, I mean, so, <laughs> I think now magicians are handsome, right? But at, at a time, they were just sort of average looking guys. Yeah, so. that was why you went into magic. Right, exactly. <laughs> Here's Broad on Dice. He's actually like, I guess you roll him and he's one of the sides of the dice. I wonder if the reason that that uh, attractive magicians do well is because it helps with the sleight of hand because everybody's like going gaga over their face and they're not looking at the hands. So they're Yeah, able I think to, David like... Copperfield sort of started the handsome magician and then you had Chris Angel and, you know, it used to be the assistants were the distracting part, right? Right. And then Meisner. Um, Meisner yeah. from a uh... Uh, whatever that I don't know if I would like I think uh, Larry Jennings could have done better on his magic cover (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, or just like show like a rabbit jumping out of a hat or something Uh, I don't know yeah talk about a guy who spends a lot of time on the toilet every morning uh, we gotta bring that we gotta bring that corner back and then um this is uh I included this one because it's a a funny name montage um Derek Dingle (laughs) Joe I can picture you saying Derek Dingle over and over in your head. I wish already. I was named Derek Dingle. And, uh, uh, I wonder if it's too late for me to change my name legally to Derek Dingle. Here's another Derek Dingle. And again, I don't know that that's the best cover photo. I don't know if that's going to. Are, are you saying these guys are unattractive? Is that what you're No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> here's this is ventriloquism, but same idea. Um, you know, this okay. sort of plain thing. And then uh, another one in that wheelhouse. Oh, the last one I'll show. Gospel and Giggles. So, <laughs> and this one is signed. I don't know if Giggles signed it or if uh, who, but. Nick, of, of those seven that you just showed, one yeah. of those has to be VHS of the year. One of them has I, to be. It's somewhere in here. And so that's why, I mean, we've just scratched the surface. Um, we're doing a bonus show now called VCR After Party on Wednesdays because there's too much to cover in one Tuesday night show. So stay tuned for tomorrow night. We're going to do cyber videos and that will open even more uh, great gifts. Exactly. We're going to make these more digestible. An hour and 15 minutes. That was a little much, I think. It was for, 90 for, minutes for last five week. Years. Well, yeah, it'd be an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. But then it's just like, why don't we just do two separate shows? I'm thinking for our Wednesday show, you know, we'll do like uh, 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 cyber videos. But I wonder if we want to like bring back Plunkets or do we want to, you know, like this could be more like a quarantine classics where it's VHS stuff. But, you know, we mix in some some stuff. Let me show you some uh, videos that I have here. I just have a few. Um, How to buy hearing aids uh, that are right for you. Uh, Does that have on on screen text? You think? In oh, case I, gotcha. I would assume so. It's yeah, got okay. to. Be yeah. Closed captions. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. uh, this video is provided by nothingness. No wow. Nothingness. Blank, blank slate. Uh, this is a good one. This is a Bob Hedges. Uh, NASA and UFOs. Uh, <laughs> that's. A, I mean, oh, need the apostrophe. I, I can see the exciting or not exciting corner coming up. Oh yeah. You know, I want to do Hirschfeld drawings. I think I just got that classic caricature look. I, I want to do a new corner. Maybe I'll do it next week uh, called uh, This Week in Men with Overhead Projectors. And I have a feeling that this man <laughs> have an overhead projector. I have a I have a little suspicion that he does. Yeah. Okay, and this is my, my this is one of not as good as Gospel and Giggles, but it's up there. Uh, shark cartilage, a promise kept. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe this is Gospel and Giggles. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty good. Is it hosted by Derek Dingle by any chance? It is actually. <laughs> Whoa! That's crazy. That. Yeah. Kind of looking down and a bit disheveled. Uh, wow. Hey, let's uh, let's jump into a found footage festival classic. It's time for a video. Ten. You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. Um, I decided to play special delivery today. I figured it was time. Oh. Uh, we haven't played that one in a few years, and uh, this is a video. It's called an, uh, what was it called? Like an introduction to whelping. Yeah. And whelping is the act of helping your female dog give birth to puppies. 
And where was this tape found, Nick? Did Long you, Island. This, this yeah. Long Island? Yeah, that's yeah. Right store. Um, yep. And uh, so and it quickly became one of our hottest videos. It oh, has a million views on YouTube. And uh, I think we played it at one of those NACA conventions, those college convention, conventions, Nick. And then our agents were like, D don't play this video ever again. Please don't. I don't know why there's again. certain terminology used in the dog world, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, all right. Here it is. Uh, Found Footage Festival Classic, uh, A Guide to Whelping. Hi, my name is Catherine Lord, and I want to welcome you to the wonderful world of puppies. By now, you should know your bitch is pregnant. Sometimes a bitch will come earlier, sometimes a few days later. Milk Aid helps aid the bitch. Watch your bitch. What is normal for your bitch? Breeders always say, call your vet when the bitch has had contractions for a long time. The bitch should be examined to make sure that all the nipples are okay. If a bitch vomits, the bitch may be in difficulty. Small bitch. The bitch, the bitch, and the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, bitch, bitches. Every bitch should be checked for brucellosis. Why is it important? that a bitch not be overweight. Overweight weight bitches, an overweight bitch, a fat bitch, a bitch, and you should exercise the bitch. Approximately how long can a bitch go? A lot depends on the bitch. The bitch, the bitch. The bitch, that bitch, the bitch, bitch, the bitch is just very, very nervous. Milk the bitch, calm the bitch down, and try to milk the bitch like a cow. This concludes special delivery. We hope you found the tape informative Lord and helpful. VCR party Halloween co costume because she's got the white turtleneck and like the red vest on. Yeah, I that could be a good be one. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that could be a good one. Um, uh, calm the bitch down. I think that's always a good tip. Yeah, Put yep. that one down. I think um, that's, uh, yep. And uh, I, I, if we can't play it at colleges, I guess uh, we can at least play it here. So. Well, but that's the technical term for it, right? Yes, that's what you call a pregnant dog. Yeah. I thought the college kids wanted to learn. Yeah. What are those Steve, noises? Is that your baby? It is. Oh. <laughs> you just talk Super cute. Can you tell her to be quiet? We're trying to do a sure, VCR party. We're trying to Very do a VHS, a VHS themed uh, web show. Just tell her that. We're watching oh, a video where no we problem. think the word for female dog is pregnant. It's funny. <laughs> Let her know that. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Oh, she Steve, gets... are you selling out, by the way? I certainly am. So I am selling out to um, our friend. Melinda Joby Bednar. It's Joby's uh, birthday. It is Whoa. Joby's birthday. Yes. So happy birthday, birthday Joby. Joby. Yeah. yeah. His wife Laura reached out to sell out. She, it's his, it's a big one too. It's his fiftieth birthday. So um, she wanted to wish uh, Joby a happy fiftieth, Joby. Uh, she's so happy and honored to get to send you a special golden oldie celebratory message on VCR party with our beloved Found Footage Festival hosts and fellow Melindas. You're the perfect blend of a truly brilliant, creative, unique, and eccentric in all the best ways, man. And I hope your upcoming birthday is filled with joy, adventure, and, of course, an abundance of nice things. All of our love, Laura. Nice. So, yeah, wow. Is, uh, nice. Yes. Happy birthday, Joby. Joby, of course, is the one who gave us uh, Shirzy Home Movies, which was yeah, a contender and, for VHS of the Year. And, and you know, help been, with MelindaCon yeah. and is running uh, Saturday morning cartoons website and doing all sorts of stuff behind yeah. the scenes. We, we so are indebted to Joby, for sure. So happy yeah. birthday. I wanted to mention that he's also been um, making some updates to our uh, website a little bit. And so we have some new items in the store that you might want to check out at uh, store.foundfootagefest.com. Yeah, go to Fun Mugs. Click on Fun Mugs, Nick. Well, yeah, look um, at, well, first of all, look at this. You know how we showed the bowl for the bowling episode 300? We had Leroy Bornhop. Now we have a crossover <laughs> with Lindo Man, Leroy Bornhop. We want you back. Yep. But... You can order that shirt. Yep. Uh... And look at all these attractive multicultural couples wearing the Leroy Bornhop slash Lindo Man shirt. That makes it barely makes sense to me, let alone no, these models wearing it's it. It's the. It's so hard to explain this one, and I challenge anybody to actually purchase this shirt. And I want to hear your explanation when somebody asks you what that shirt means and hit like record on a voice memo or something. So I can hear your explanation. I sure hope shirt. he's not found dead in a bog or we're going to have to answer a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. I um, was going to find out where Leroy lives and just send him some t-shirts no. out there and just, we have a lead on Leroy Bornhop. Uh, McKenna 
is from the St. Louis area, <laughs> and she has two mutual friends with Leroy Bornhop's uh, uh, daughter or son or something. So we have a, a link, and then Nick, we're doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> this man's just enjoying a Leroy Bornhop mug. <laughs> Designed by Molly Gates, too. Hey, uh, cheers. Uh, cheers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to Leroy Bornhop. <laughs> uh, go back and watch episode 300 if you want to know more about and, that. But. And go to our store, too, because we're, we're writing in all the uh, descriptions of everything, and it's funny, and there's links in there, so you can actually watch videos while you're in there. And then maybe you're, like, chuckling so hard that you accidentally buy something. Like, that's the that's, that's the, the idea. Hope. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna, we, we now have the ability to do even more dumb Hyper yeah. specific merchandise and look at Brent George for a birthday message now. Yep. It's on sale. You can get a Brent wow. George. It yep. used to be a million, a million bucks. Yeah. And now it's a hundred. So yeah. if you want a Brent George. George, what would you do for a Brent George? And... Well, it depends what somebody wants. If, if I can show maybe some goofy clips from cartoons, I can give a, uh, I can show a weird commercial. I can sing a song. I can tell you about things that Nick and Joe have texted me in the past that would never get. <laughs> By uh, the show, I've got also. I have an idea. Private lives. Why don't you yeah. like? Why don't people like if they rent you, you will look up all the information about them. You'll tell them what their VIN number is. For You'll the tell million them dollars. Any, yes, any for the car hundred accidents. Dollars, the oh, hundred dollars. Really? There's less. Yeah, because that that's the sort of thing that can. T that's like a two week. You'll tell them their credit score, yeah. like all that stuff. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep. Just just an idea. All right. well, so anyway, happy birthday, Joby. He's the one who's been putting all that new stuff on the store for us. <laughs> exactly. And uh, thanks for doing that. Um, I wanted to mention quickly that we're on the road. So uh, in two weeks, uh, I think two weeks, we're going to be in Santa Fe. We're going to be in New Mexico at Meow Wolf. Uh, my folks are coming out to that show. So come see us there. It's a really cool art exhibit. Then we're going the next week. We're on a big Florida tour. Could there be a more boring cover than <laughs> Florida? Yeah, I, I um, like it. And then our 20th anniversary show, we have some special guests lined up for it. It's going to be in Brooklyn, which, oop, that's not the right. I don't think I have a Brooklyn tape. But, uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a Brooklyn one, but um, oh, we are going to be. The, something from the private collection. Yeah, I guess there, so. Huh? In, yeah. But we're going to be in Brooklyn, New York at our home, the Bell House, right across from our office. Maybe we'll do a little after party there. Come see us there. Special guests. It's going to be fun. Um, yep. That's it. Um, let's get into some funny names. All right. We have a lot of funny names. We're trying to collect all of them in the VHS world. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Th yeah, this is the latest one. Look at this. We're filling up. Mm -hmm. And I don't, uh, where, I don't know where Derek Dingle's going. I'll tell you that. That's, oh, uh, man. Well, see, I have yeah. the honorable mentions on the way right where that, mm -hmm. that could potentially go. But uh, we're going to run into this problem today, actually. You're going to see. Uh, I'm going to play more from the special delivery video that we just watched for Found Footage Festival Classics. And there's a funny name in there. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I, know, I know what it's going to be. Sue, so what do you offer your bitches? Gordon, what do you offer your bitches? What else do you give to your bitches? I have had bitches. You have to know your bitch. I have one bitch. You have to transport a, a, a bitch. Caring for the bitch. Bitch. My bitches. My bitches. Every one of my bitches. I have a heat lamp so I... on my bitch. I don't know who's <laughs> weaker. Wow. The bitch or me. But I have a very sick bitch. Allow your bitches to eat placentas. Bitches. Let the bitch do it. Bitches always go back and chew it anyway. Right. He's a six-year-old Maltese. It's not a puppy. His name is Champion Cathan Fable Little Star. We name all the dogs after rock and Roll records from the 50s and 60s, so that's how he got his name. Shave your bitch down. There we go. There it is. Champion. Champion Catan, Catan, Catan Fable, Fable Little Star. Little Star. But look at this. The Champion Catan Fable Little Star has like five names. None of them fit, and I can't <laughs> rearrange anything. Wow. So, who does Chuck Drinkwater go away? Um, oh, no. Wow. Uh, Beaver Felton? No. Little uh, Leroy Bornhop? No, he can't. can't. Now, I mean, so uh, should there be a separate think, shirt. Yeah, I'm with George on this. I think there should be divisions. One. There should be a pet edition of, of or this. just animal. Yeah. I mean, how long? I mean, how long is that list going to be? How many funny names of animals do we have? That's. I think I, I think several. Pudgy Wudgy. So that's two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're already halfway there. But, but then I have to the call a rabbit that plays the piano. Oh yeah. Uh, oh Nick, what's the rabbit's name? Uh, oh, Bunny. 
det vi bare... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were scrolling through the file cabinet in your brain for that one. <laughs> well, I, I was mainly thinking, why did we box ourselves in by making these the ABCs? Like, we could have just had funny name of the week, but no, uh, we need to. I think when we do volume 11 of the Found Footage Festival, I want to go through the ABCs in a montage form. Yeah, that uh, way everybody in the audience will be like, what are we at? G? Well, that's after the half hour of usurpations. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So that's, come see that's... us on the road. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, there we are. Uh, VCR party funny names. All right. I'll I'll consider doing the animal one. I'll talk to Molly about making me a new graphic. It's been um, weeks, we, but it's time to reveal the winner of the Ohio State Jingle Contest. We uh, we put it to you. We ha we wanted to have you vote on uh, what we think should win. And um, so it turns out, let me uh, pull up our Patreon here. You could vote on Patreon, and the winners. Uh, Oh, wait, let me see if I have it here. Yeah, okay, so Patreon, we had, I think, almost 200 people voted on this, and uh, the results the results were about as close as we've gotten, I think. They they were, um, it was hotly contested. Uh, Steve, you picked out some good jingles. I think that's a testament uh, to how close this was. It was between the Idaho Mattress Outlet with 26% and Coeur d'Alene Casino Steak and Lobster at 36%. So... <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that was the one. So wasn't it like play... people were talking with their mouthfuls? Is that what yeah. it was? So, and yeah. I, I, and I think in retrospect, it wasn't necessarily the jingle that did it. It was no. more about the actual commercial. So let's watch the winning Ohio State jingle. Then I'll show the state flag Idaho. put together by or Idaho put together by uh, Judah. Here we go. North <laughs> Well, you know, I like the casino has a deal for you. Oh, you can eat better than you know. Every $9.99. Oh, it's $24.99. $24.99. Oh, it's a whole place for some. Come out and buffet. Don't go with it. Revolting. I hate it. Imagine being upset all day to deal with that. <laughs> Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <Yeah>. Show character. <laughs> Yeah, that is a Mr. Show sketch. So, uh, yes, and uh, Judah, who's an actual doctor, always makes our uh, state uh, flag. So here's, first of all, the updated uh, United Jingles of America flags. You can see that Idaho is now covered. And uh, here's the Idaho state jingle, all-you-can-eat steak and lobster <laughs> tail. Stop <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Casino. Yeah, let's zoom in. <laughs> That's here's great. All, yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, it has all the steak and lobster in the center there and the little shield yeah. thing. And We salute you. Wow, Judah. Nice work. Yeah. Again, one, I'm going to fly that flag high. We all are. So one state down, and uh, thanks for voting, everybody. We'll do another state uh, pretty soon. Um, let's get into some flying windows. Uh, okay, so this one has been sitting on the shelf. I've been looking at it for the last, I don't know, four years or so, uh, and I've been wanting to do something with it, and finally I had uh, McKenna digitize it. It's Dentures, What to Expect by Fixident, and uh, what they did, so they're, they're telling you about how to prepare for getting dentures and why you should get it and to comfort you in getting dentures, And uh, but they attempt a, like a, a story. They almost have like a it's almost like an episode of Friends or something. They have like snappy dialogue and they have this uh, quirky waiter who comes in and they try to tell you the story that way, which I oh, love. Boy. But, okay. and I want to watch more of it someday, but for now, let's just watch the Flying Windows introduction. And I, I want to pose a question to you. You're going to see somebody bite down in pain on their, on their mouth, on their teeth. Um, for some reason, I feel like TV pain is funnier when it's in a flying window. Tell me if you think this is correct. Um, all right, here we go. Here's a uh, flying window. There it is, click the bite. <laughs> Lauren's decision. Welcome to Meredith's, where the barbecue ribs are especially good tonight. 
And I'll be right back to get your order. Well, that's what I'm having. Ribs. Okay, so that's all. <laughs> that's all you're getting. Tantalizing. Uh, I, 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 I want to see more. Yeah. <laughs> Fix it, then you've done it again. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll watch more of that later. Do you think uh, TV paint is funnier when it's going by in a in a flying window? No, you didn't think so. I did. I thought it was a little bit more, but I don't know if it was the way she was playing it. Well, I think it was like thirteen percent funnier. You know, I don't sure. think it's like yeah. extraordinary. Like, oh, and it didn't go to hilarious. It didn't change the. No, 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 okay. no. I just, sure. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm working on a study over here. I'll reassess. Yeah. Let's get into some ravioli, shall we? Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us 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 your raviolis. All right. I'm stoked for my raviolis. I you got, um, yeah, do you want to go first? Or sure. Yeah, we'll looking? start off with a quick one because I think you hit, yours is a bit of a longer uh, walk. This is um, a video that, this is why I, I, prefer vhs to dvd we got this on dvd and it's not de-interlaced if you don't know what that is it's like you could see the lines and then i tried to fix it and it made it worse so it just looks whenever there's motion it looks weird it doesn't it have, have the charm either no. you know i thought maybe there'd be the charm of dvd yeah. interlacing deinterlacing, but no that doesn't exist so this is a uh, it's called either dough in or do in self-massage by a guy named lino who I believe is an Austrian man living in Colorado. He wrote books. He was like a new age health guy, wrote about macrobiotic diet and whatever, and appeared to have a loyal following of uh, people doing his exercise video and self-massage on a mountain in Colorado. So here it is, Doe in Self-Massage. Also, the music is seems a little wackier than what I would think it is for a new age. It sounds like shakies, is what yeah, it sounds yeah, like. Exactly. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start. <sighs> it feels good, right? Oh, that's my nightmare, is to be in that group. The middle yeah, figure is force. circulation and sex. International. <laughs> Middle finger. Sex, sex and organs. organs. There you are. Sex and circulation. Very good. You got to wake up your brain before you wake up your whole body. I say middle finger, you say sex organs. Middle finger, sex organs. Basically, you're stimulating your brain. Inhale. Wait, I feel like this is the guy who is serving them at the, at the fix of it. Oh, is that him? Yeah, I think yeah, that was he's him. He's got kind yeah. of the same... The same comb over, but yeah, your brain. He's kind of he kind of has a Gilbert Gottfried face. Mm. Makes sense. Inhale. <laughs> the chin is connected with the sex organ. That's why women <laughs> sometimes much. get pimple there before the menses. Yeah, I don't Inhale, know if that's accurate. Sell a massage. Ponytail. Is that the ponytail? Massage, yep. The the tushy. Going to a sex organ, massage your tushy. You don't have to bend over, just do it normally, okay? Rotate your arm backward like you, you have to be like mountain. Take off. Don't take yeah. it off though. Okay? Exhale. Exhale and massage. Very good. Like Tarzan. Oh. Like Tarzan. Oh. Imagine now, this is a t your head. Want to see and this is feet. your anus. The more like <laughs> this is a winner. This is this is a contender for VHS of the year right here already. Well, except that we DVD. almost got a Karachi shot here. Oh, it's DVD. Yeah. So it. who knows? I don't know. What yeah, you got a, Check you got a Karachi the, uh, right there. There's a Karachi shot. The yeah. officials. Imagine now this is a t your head and this is your anus. The more flexible your ankle, the younger you are, and the sexier you are. <laughs> Let's make the best of this morning, okay? Enjoy ourselves and learn a few things. <laughs> that guy does. And go way down. Is, wait, wait, wait. Go. Can you yeah. go back to the ponytail guy. Yeah. That, that guy is not a ponytail guy. He should not be a ponytail guy. It like, doesn't his, his... seem like he is either. Um, <sighs> and I can't just... tell if he's in, wincing in pain or enjoying himself here. But... <laughs> he's not ponytail material. Somebody should tell him that there. Well, he needs a, there know. might be some research at the end because we got credits. Learn a few things. Okay. And go all the way down. 
Very good. Excellent lap. <laughs> like midsummer. <laughs> Insane. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nick, they're all vegan, right? Gotta be. <laughs> he admitted it. Any funny names here? Uh, yeah, I think I think you can say that Lauren Wetman is a funny name. He's the guy. He's the guy who does yeah, not yeah. need a ponytail. Right, that's Lauren yeah. Wetman. So yeah. yeah. Track him. we can track him down. W's. I think we yeah, need so, W's badly. Yeah. So anyway, that is called Doe in Self Massage with uh, Lino, and uh, yeah, I, that's a winner. I just wish it wasn't so it, interlacy. It'll definitely win DVD of the year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, easily. Number one. Um, all right, I have a new corner. It, it, it's a new name for a, something that already exists. So, Nick, you said that I was going on a long walk. That's what this is called. I'm calling this Joe's Long Walk. And I have I made a song up just on my voice memos today. And uh, the audio is bad, but you'll get the gist of it. George, I'm going to ask you to maybe put some keyboards under it or something. But uh, here's the intro for Joe's Long Walk. Long walk with Joe, a long walk with Joe, a long, 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 long walk with Joe, a long, 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 long walk with Joe. What do you think? Can you put a little like keyboard behind that, George, or something? Yeah, I mean, it, I really think it works a cappella, but whatever you want. No, yeah, I, want, I want some music behind it. I want, do, 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 do. How, how the, yeah, how about the music from that last video? The... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. That's very long walking. That's a good idea. Um, all right, here's my long walk. So uh, last Thursday for EP and this Thursday for EP mode for our $10 and up patrons, we had on Dark Lord Blood. Last minute booking, he came on. We watched uh, Best Talk in Town. He was a Satanist on daytime talk shows during the Satanic Panic of the 90s. And he, he was such a good Satanist, too. And we sat down, we talked with him uh, about how he got the gig, and he tells the whole story. He teaches us how to growl. But while I was prepping that, I realized that the host, Nola Roper, was, had this really interesting career that actually is sort of, you know, VHS adjacent. So uh, let me just play a clip from Best Talk in Town. We've, we've shown this a bunch of times before, but this is Nola Roper. I'm, I'm focusing more on Nola here, um, the host of Best Talk in Town. Hi, and welcome. Now, we're going to meet a man that's later Nola. on that's a seventh generation Satanist. But it's yeah. also being solved for healthy reasons. Man, what's healthy about selling a knife to this bitch? Vicky, let me ask you See, about, such a pro. about your children. We have to do another show on this. You, I'll thank you for being here. I'm Nola thank Roper, you. and this is the best talk in town. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So she's such a pro. We've always loved Nola Roper, just the way she handles the whole situation. And this is the only episode we've ever seen of this show. It's the only one. I don't think there's any on YouTube either. Not but anyway, anywhere, yeah. Yeah, I looked her up. Uh, turns out she was a uh, comedian in the 1970s. That's how she started her career. Um, then she went on to this Broadway show. Oops, the wrong slide. Um, she was on this Broadway show in uh, Chicago. And next door to the theater was a racetrack. And she met one of the jockeys there. And she ran off with one of the jockeys to Kentucky and got married to the hmm. jockey. And she quit the Broadway show, just like up and left. And then she was known for having these extravagant parties, like these Kentucky Derby parties. Somehow from there, she, well, she married the jockey. That's not the actual picture of her. It's just a uh, people getting married by a horse um then she somehow made it to new york she was a popular radio dj she was uh on in the morning she was on like the z morning shows 
And uh, then... Sorry, when, when you said she was getting married by a horse, I was just picturing the horse doing the ceremony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Got, got yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then, for some reason, she got into furniture import-exporting. That's not a picture of her. That's the only picture I could find of furniture at the last <laughs> oh. minute. So she started this new empire with furniture importing and exporting. Somehow from there, according to IMDb, she co-produced 21 highly successful Lionsgate studio feature films. She produced them, 21 of them, with this guy named Uli Lommel. And I bet the, the horror buffs, the, the horror fans know that name. But he made weird movies with Andy Warhol and Richard Hell in the in the late 1970s and early 80s, and then he made all of these straight to video horror movies. You know the ones that you would see up on the shelf in Blockbuster, like Terminal Justice, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, here, here's one of them that uh, she made: DC Sniper with Ken For Foray from oh, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Um, and then she also made Son of Sam. She produced it. Uh, Uli directed it. Um, lots of horror stuff, killer nurse. Uh, and then, uh, look at us. So many, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So many movies, but here's the good news. She stars in all of them. Nola Roper's in all of these, but she always plays like, uh, you know, uh, nurse number two or something. You know, she's always kind of a background character with just a couple lines. Uh, so here's a scene of her in uh, zombie nation from 2004. Hey, Malloy. Come here. Give me a kiss. Come on. Come on. That's Mwah. Mwah. Hey, hell dogs. What's that all about anyway? Uh, they all served in the same platoon in both Afghanistan and Iraq. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Oh. Yeah. That's where they learned the ropes if you get my drift. Ah, uh, see, now it all makes sense, huh? Yeah, so that that was her. Uh, that was her oh, there on the left, wow. the red hair. Here's another one called uh, Night Stalker. She has a bigger role, but she dies within the first ten minutes. Um, What's the matter with you? Put that gun down. Don't you dare point that gun at anybody unless you plan to use it. <laughs> yeah. So she died in that. Um, oh, so there's no Noel. Roper. But wow. the, the Are You Insane clip is great. The, the up to the shooting part. I was disappointed that she got killed, but yeah, I know yeah. I was too. Up to I there, that's a contender for like end of the show or something. She should have, as she was being shot, she should have went. Ooh. Well, hold on <laughs> a second, Nick. Just yeah. wait a second. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that should be one of our. That should be one of our drops that Steve uh, drops yes. in and off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Put that I'll, in the uh, hopper. All right, write that down. Uh, anyway, so that's my long walk with Nola Great. Roper. George, she's out there somewhere. You get a tracker down. We have to have her on the show. Well, we've we showed a clip of hers before. Um, we showed a few clips. There, there are several best talks in town on. Um, oh, there are there are more. Okay. Yes, but the right. one that you liked the most was this. Tomorrow morning on Best Talk in Town, Star Trek memorabilia. No Klingons allowed. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah, yeah, I did like that one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. so there, there's stuff out there. I, we'll have to watch that. But Nola Ropa's career, I wanna, I wanna talk to her. We gotta sit down. We gotta and maybe reunite her with uh, Dark Lord Blood. We have, the, uh, be, we have the means to do that. We, yeah. yeah, that would be a, some a reunion only we cared about. But I'm uh -huh. excited for that to happen. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this is um, kind of a topical one. Uh, it was just announced that Sam Mendes is directing four different Beatles biopics from each person's point of view. Seems like a terrible idea to me, but Sam Mendes is do, pretty do good. Do any of those Beatles biopics ever work when it's just... Uh, hmm. Remember uh, we just, when we were in Liverpool, yeah. we watched a bunch of the TV movie ones. About, we went like, on a big kick. Oh, <laughs> They're yeah, so bad. The accents and yeah. Um, so I don't, I'm skeptical, but um, I thought, you know, we had such a great time when um, we had uh, Ben from Oddity Archive pull, he has this amazing collection of la laser karaoke videos. We did one that was all babes from laser karaoke. Um, and I like, are there any funny Beatles ones where like the, the, the images are incongruous? So this is what Ben from Oddity Archive put together. The link to his YouTube is in our, uh, it's in our the, the description to this, but check it out. Beatles Laser Karaoke. I think I'm gonna be I think it's today. See how they like 
put their heads on a when stick the with beetle wigs. In times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, <laughs> speaking words of wisdom. So the, the dying skier. What? He's dead. Yeah. Help me get my feet back on the ground. A lot of stock footage. Won't you please, please help me? This makes no sense. He got gasoline all over him. So he was distracted <laughs> by that pretty woman. Yeah. <laughs> like a magic match I guess. It's just like I slide shot. It hurts so is that McCartney? Yeah, I think so. Sneaking into a hotel room. Everybody tells me I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. Can't buy me love. Talking to a woman's hotel? Yep. And like smelled her clothes. I believe it's the same guy. He must what? just sneak into places. Yeah. But why is he... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Wouldn't you be distracted if you're like at the bar singing this? <laughs> if you don't know, you're not a real Beatles fan. Yeah, it's, but... uh, it's been a hard day for that guy. And of course, you gotta handle it. Several different Hey Jude videos. Yep. Da 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 da. Oh, is that Jude? Oh, okay. good. Apparently. And here's another Jude. Sad cowboy by a river. mad because his girlfriend got taken away. Yeah, that's what that song was about, right? Yep, pretty sure. <laughs> it definitely wasn't Paul writing it to Julian Lennon. All right, you, so there it is. Ben that's not even the weirdest Beatles karaoke video we have. Like, that's well, Baby Rapper's right here. Yes. And I think that one's just, like, just below it. Just yeah. for the shaving scene alone. <laughs> yeah. I just you, Any topic you can come up with, there's probably laser karaoke weirdness having to do with it. So thanks to Ben out of the archive. Do, do, we have got, enough stuff for, do we have enough stuff for an all Beatles episode? I wonder if we do. Probably, yeah. I feel like I we do. Maybe when, those, just... yeah, maybe when those soon-to-be-terrible movies come out, we can do an all Beatles. Yes. Yeah, that's well, a good I think idea. it would be great. Oh, 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 well, look who's it's a, here. It's a lad from Liverpool. <laughs> um, all right. I uh, oh, Okay, so this is fun. So what was it? Uh, last week, I believe, um, I put out a call for Bargain Bernie jinglers, people to come up with a Bargain Bernie jingle because it didn't have one. Bargain Bernie, uh, we have this whole tape of his outtakes. He's this furniture salesman, and his catchphrase is, all I want to do is save you money. He has his entire family there, and they're trying to, to sell – you know, swivel rockers and waterbeds. And, uh, but we got the finished commercial in there, but it didn't have a jingle, didn't have any music. So I put it out to the Melinda's and uh, we got three back already. Um, I did the first one. Uh, I recorded this one. Mm, um, but own. let me, let me just show you the original commercial first. Uh, this is the Bargain Bernie commercial. Marco Salou of Decorators Gallery, and I'm having a super sale. Buy one and get one free. Buy this handsome lane action recliner and get the second free. Buy the Sealy Posturepedic mattresses and get the box springs free. Buy a yard of Salem Century carpet and get another yard free. Buy a $349 air swivel rocker and get one free. Buy a set of sheets and get the second one free. As Bargain Bernie says, All I want to do is save you money. Buy one and get the second one free. Buy one and get the second one free. At Decorators Gallery in Parkdale Plaza. Okay, then it needs like a bargain, Bernie, you know, needs something like that. Mm -hmm. So here's here's mine. Again, I just recorded my voice memos. Uh, George, I need you to uh, add some keyboards or something to it. Um, but here's here's how mine went. 
All I want to do is save you money. Buy one and get the second one free. Buy a lamp and get the second one free. At Decorators Gallery in Parkdale Plaza. Water beds and swivel rockers at Bargain Bernie's. All I want to do is save you money. Okay. Not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. So a uh, musing pseudonym on Twitter uh, did one too. And uh, here's how that one went. All I want to do is save you money. Buy one and get the second one free. Buy a lamp and get the second one free. At Decorators Gallery in Parkdale Plaza. Every day can feel like a weekend with Bernie's. All I want to do is save you money. Good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. That sounds like a real one. Uh, Jeremy P., he did another voicemail, a voice memo one, too. And uh, I think this one's really good. Uh, take a listen. All I want to do is save you money. Buy one and get the second one free. Buy a lamp and get the. Oh, did it just stop there? Yeah. The second one free. At Decorators Gallery in Parkdale Plaza. All I want to do, woohoo, woohoo, save you money, save you money, save you money at Decorators Gallery. Yeah. All I want to do is save you money. That's a winner. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Dave sent one. He got a little help uh, from AI, and man, I hate to say it, but this might be the winner. I don't, I don't want to give AI too much. You know, I want the human element here. But Dave, you really uh, programmed something sweet here. Listen to this one. All I want to do is save you money. Buy one and get the second one free. Buy a lamp and get the second one free. At Decorators Gallery in Parkdale Plaza. Bargain Bernie for your buying needs. All I want to do is save you money. I mean, that was perfect. It's over. <laughs> Contest wow. is over. AI won. No, AI too. can't win. AI cannot <laughs> win. Drill, not... uh, John Henry versus the drilling machine. With that, <laughs> I don't know. The drilling machine might have won. Wow. Uh, so, and I want you guys to do uh, Nick, George, Steve. I want you guys to do a, a one-liner of of a bargain Bernie jingle song individually, or should we collaborate and individually? Like harmony? Everybody right. does their own. We got to milk this content as far as we can go with it. And also, Melinda Mixers, uh, send yours in too. I want to. I want this to be a regular segment now. That's our raviolis. But now, instead of cyber videos, George has a special segment, and I have no idea what he's got planned. Take it away, George. Yeah, this says uh, I've finally got through the footage from 1995 of my show on channel seven um and rick has we, been i don't know what that sound is i have, I have nothing. Was that, were you coughing steve i uh, was not me coughing there might be uh we got babies over here we've got okay. things being opened okay um go on it's an unboxing over there yeah so this is just some footage of a tv show i had in 1995 on in local uh, Philadelphia, not even cable level. It was low power TV. This is for about a week. There was supposed to be a wrestling show on, and I'm gonna first show a clip of an interview that went awry. It was as it planned, but went a little nuts. Okay, so this is some, several wrestlers and I at age 19. We're about to show some of the um, tapings of some of the training regiments that we got in Southern Wrestling. Okay, we're going to watch them right now. So, okay, we're gonna watch him right now. I, I cannot ad lib then or now. It's so, okay. So this is IWF. I couldn't find any rep, anything about this online. Wow, that that really that really looked pretty dangerous. Uh, well, wrestling is a dangerous sport. Don't get it wrong. All the little kids out there, you think after you come from a wrestling match, you want to go home and you want to wrestle your little brother or wrestle your cousin. Wrestling is no sport to be out there playing. I saw a different road. X Men decided not to take that. What? Oh, oh, no. Experiencing problems right now. Go to commercial now. What's happening? <laughs> okay, at that moment, <laughs> so we didn't have any real commercials, so that we would just be PSAs. And if uh, the, on the tape, there's 26 minutes of PSAs in a loop. Because at that moment, a guy stepped on the table. The table collapsed. Um, it, it, and downstairs, there was a psychiatrist's office. And we almost got evicted from that. So that did, led to the... Did yeah. you know that was going to happen? No, no. Really? Well, they, 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 I thought they were going to come in and we were going to go to commercial. I didn't expect the table, everything on it, the studio to fall apart in one like leap it just was not ready to be did you get on. mad at him or were you like it's okay it's, no it's, it's like okay. this it, it's just like this whatever happens i have no i'm just floating yeah. through I, uh, uh, but then so a week later they said like we're gonna we're gonna do things uh, we're gonna make things uh a little calmer so we had 
so let's see after this uh, okay so this is a week later hi everyone out there in tv land i'm known as the star machine and you're watching 30 minutes of nwc live no do not adjust your set and if you touch that dial we know where you're at because we have caller id for the telephone we're here to tell you a little something about what's happening here at channel seven channel seven is bringing to you some very good programming Every Thursday night, you can catch NWC Live Professional Wrestling from 7 to 8 o'clock. The Dr. Soul Show, The Lady Soul Show, and even George. Yes, George. He will be back to show you a little bit more of his wisdom. If you have any questions for the next 30 minutes, feel like give he us a call. The host. Let us yeah, talk he definitely to you about should have. <laughs> Let us explain to you what NWC that you stands for, what NWC is doing. Oh, I wasn't good. And remember, February 18th, the Northeast Frankfurt Boys Club brings to you NWC's War Games. Yes, championship professional wrestling. Can't find any over and over reference and to this over. online. If you enjoy wrestling as much as I do, you really want Somebody to see pick this. up the phone. So when we come back from commercial, <laughs> we're going to introduce to you the contenders for the heavyweight tag team titles. Okay. He's a so pro. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> tonight in Philadelphia, there's many things. Uh, oh, there seems to be somebody at the door. Can somebody get that door? Man, who, who's here? Get it go! Anyhow, that's it. It's, but that was, they ended up getting banned after that because they actually did slam me in the head with, I, I, they were like, you can't do that to, to our hosts. Although, I, but it really, that was like a, you know, it's a particle board chair, maybe, but it yeah. still doesn't feel great to get hit yeah. in the head with it. Yeah. Before that, I knew they were going to like, you know, hit me and Richard they were. Bells are you know, knocked out, got knocked out. Yeah, it was exactly the same. Yeah. Is this the new segment, George? Is, are you going to show us your public access days? Is this I, uh, it's, that's going to be some of of what's here. This is going to be the George Puri, as it's called. George oh, Puri. Oh, that's yeah. good. That sounds exactly like Potpourri. Yep. No <laughs> well, because my name is George Puri. My real oh, name. Oh, that's right. Your last George. name. George. Yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't planning on showing this, but I've been going through. I found a bunch of tapes of my old high school show. It's called The Flip Side, and it's 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 all very embarrassing. But um, Art Paul Schlosser, who we've shown spit painting uh, footage of him in public yeah. access. This aired on public access in our hometown of Stoughton. This is just 10 seconds. Uh, I'll just bring it in now. We should vote for Abraham Lincoln, because our government it needs more thinking. OK. So yeah, that, um, <laughs> that was me saying OK to Art Paul after that. I really like the framing of the camera there, with you and Art Paul on the we bottom should... left, and then the top right was the guy uh, carrying a chair above his head. Yeah, you know, and I my posture that. here just exuded confidence and journalistic <laughs> integrity. Kind of like going like this. And, uh -huh. yeah. Yep. So anyway, I think um, in the future, George, we can both analyze our regrettable broadcast careers. Love it. Yeah, but right. see, my, Steve and mine, like ours, were like very professional. We were like a couple of Walter Cronkite juniors, weren't we, Steve? Like ours, no, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we won't we won't be showing ours because they're pretty good. I think we have to postpone nice things to our Wednesday night show. But, Let me uh, just show two nice things. Let me okay, show the sure. shirt that I've been wearing uh, that I got in the Wisconsin Dells uh, in a couple weeks ago. It says, smoke up, bitches. And uh, the only mistake I made is that I didn't bring back like seven of them with me. I wear this shirt and people are like, oh, I need one of those smoke up, bitches shirt with uh, Bart stoned on the front. And uh, and he's I, referring to dogs that are about to give birth, right? When he's, yes, exactly. Yep. Oh, and yeah. and Matt Groening signed off on this, and uh, it, it's fully licensed. And everything's on the up and up. Yep. Um, the other nice thing. The other nice thing is somebody got me a hat when we opened up the boxes, a Montel Williams hat, uh, <laughs> and that's a very nice thing. Those are there's so many nice things, but I'll, I'll just give you a taste of these two: Montel All Williams right. and Smoke Up Bitches. More to come tomorrow night. Um, First of all, we got a ton of new shows that we want to mention. There's a new Midnight Rental. It's the love-themed episode. Very entertaining. Strange Tapes dropped its 25th episode on Saturday. And there's a new Bastard Tapes that's all about comedians who tried to get musical careers. That's our podcast. Search for Bastard Tapes where you get podcasts. And we're going to go out on a, a clip from, um, I'm not going to say who's in it, but it's, a, it's called Going to the Doctor.
This is on Bastard Tapes, right? This is on the new Bastard Tapes that okay. just dropped tonight. Okay. Um, all right. Here's the thing. If we had been prepared, we could have done better. And we'll be right back right after these words. Uh, very happy birthday to uh, Joby. And my nose isn't full of yuck anymore. Everyone's a puppet when they're dead. Going to the doctor makes me sick. I'm not kidding. Going to the doctor makes me say, Ick and uck and uck and ick. They ask you questions like, it's a test. When I see the tongue depressor, I get depressed. Going to the doctor makes me sick. When I got to the doctor, I was fine. They said, check the elbow, check the spine. Hit the knee, I said, that's no fun. And then they hit the other one. Going to the doctor makes me sick. Going to the doctor makes me say, ick and uck and uck and ick. They shine a light into your ear. But I wish the doctor would hear when I yell, going to the doctor makes me sick. When we return, Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all, that's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Got to sleep. Bye. That's it. That had been done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a My nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Cheerio. Have a good day. Sizzler. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. Good luck from all of us at Hagen. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Thank you very much for being here. And God bless you very much. Night, night. <laughs> Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.